88 miles per hour. This guy's ripping through here. Dude, if this guy goes any faster, he's gonna go right back into time. I've got a fun one for you today. We're out taking photos of some filming locations for the movie Back to the Future. I'm here with my buddy Mike and Kevin from The Abandoned Project. We're gonna start here at Marty's High School in Whittier. Be sure to stick around to the end. A couple bonus images that I've captured uh, throughout the years, one of which I had for a job and didn't even realize it was from the opening scene of Back to the Future, but more on that later. Clean this place up. All right, so we took a walk around Whittier High School. I saw a lot that looks really familiar, and mainly because you know, the architecture is very similar around the whole place, but what we're trying to do is just kind of walk around, see if maybe we could find that spot where uh, Marty knocked out Biff and uh, some of the other notable scenes from the Back to the Future series. But either way, this is really cool and uh, I'm excited to be here. But the next spot is definitely going to be very recognizable. Dude, if this guy goes any faster, he's going to go right back into time. 88 miles per hour! I actually recognize this. Here, let me flip this camera around and let you take a look. Look out! Okay, so I'm gonna line up a few of these clips with the actual movie scene so you can just see where this all lines up. into the mall right now because word has it that the uh, they have a replica of the Twin Pines mall sign that was out here previously I think was about right there So for me, this is actually kind of depressing to see. There's like literally no shops in here. And to me, this mall looks like it's literally on death row. So this is kind of a... Let's see, what did I want to see? There it is. All right, so we found what we came for. And uh, the goal, I just really wanted to get a shot of this because ultimately I, I really don't believe this place will be around for much longer. You can see where it was. Yeah. And all these YouTube videos came up and said like, the Back to the Future Mall is dead. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> it's just kind of disappointing to see that this mall and this era is on its way out. But um, ultimately, I'm pretty happy we got here today. We're able to see the sign, get some pictures of it. So at least it'll be forever in our memories and I'll have a couple good shots of it too. As promised, I do have a few bonus images here, starting with this first one that you will definitely recognize from the first movie. This is the home that uh, Doc Brown was living in in the 1950s. I was actually driving to a real estate shoot when I looked to my left and I see Doc Brown's house. Had to pull over and take some photos. This last one's a trip. I was hired by this property owner to take some aerial and ground photos of his property. And I had these photos for probably three or four years before I was watching a YouTube video and realized it's from the actual opening scene of Back to the Future. Check this out. So just built this garage here in the parking lot of Burger King. But this right here is the Hobby Lobby. And then you can see the Burger King sign both are in this photo right here. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.